the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Hello, everybody. Happy Easter. Jesus Christ is risen. Was, did he die for us? Yes. Did the Father approve his sacrifice, offering his life for you and me? The resurrection is absolutely yes. When he loves his Son, he loves his offering his life for you and for me, and we can all have eternal life. Let's call to mind our sins, sins for which we have been forgiven, which God invites us into his life. Let's ask him for that grace and his mercy and praise him on this Easter day. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee, after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us. The witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks, thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Alleluia. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Alleluia. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you not know what a little yeast leavens all the dough? Clear out the old yeast, so that you may become a fresh batch of dough, inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thanks. Be Christians, to, to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life, who died, reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, 
wayfaring, the tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection, bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ my hope is arisen, to Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go and anoint him. Very early, when the sun had risen on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, Who will roll back the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in white. and They were utterly amazed. He said to them, do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, the crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go and tell his disciples and Peter, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him, as he told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In a lively meadow filled with bustling bug life was a special place called Bugsville. This was a place where little bugs from quick ants to slow snails lived happily. Every year they put on a big play at Easter time, an Easter pageant telling the wonderful story how Jesus rose from the dead, defeated the power of the devil, and saved everyone. It was their way of remembering the good news first shared with the humans. One sunny morning, Crispin the Cricket, wearing his favorite green coat, hopped around the meadow. Every bug family in Bugsville had a traditional role to play uh, for his family. The crickets were always the directors. This year, Crispin was nominated to direct. Nearby, the other bugs were proudly preparing their nominees for their traditional roles. Of course, the caterpillars had always played the role of Jesus, transforming after going into the cocoon into a glorious butterfly. But not all was going smoothly. Near some bright yellow dandelions, Crispin saw a group of caterpillars angry and arguing. Red ones arguing with blue ones, arguing with red ones, and they wouldn't agree about whose caterpillar should play the role of Jesus. We don't want their choice to play Jesus. They're always tricky, and their nominee is clearly old and has clearly lost his mind, complained one red caterpillar. Oh yeah, well you're always so stubborn, replied a blue caterpillar. Besides, your guy, nom your nominee, has done some scandalous things and doesn't want other bugs to come into Bugville. Nearby bugs also started to get agitated and angry. Crispin hopped over to the arguing caterpillar's friends. Easter is about love and bringing us together. But the caterpillars, red and blue, just shook their heads. Nope, we won't support them, they each said, grumbling. Feeling a bit sad, Crispin said gently, but if we believe in Easter's message, shouldn't we show it by being good and kind? Besides, we have a tradition to keep. Our ancestors have done this play for centuries, ever since the big human Mary Magdalene and the apostles told the world about the resurrection of Jesus. The caterpillars shook their heads. No way, we can't be in a play with them or support their nominee this year, both groups said, turning their backs on each other. Angry red and blue butterflies also flapped overhead at each other, and droplets of a black goo splashed to the ground on the caterpillars beneath them. Crispin's little heart sank as he watched the caterpillars stomp away. He didn't know what to do. He didn't have anyone to play the role of Jesus. He spotted a puddle of the strange gooey blob on the ground. Yuck, he thought, touching it with his toe. It smelled sweet, but looked really icky. Could this be some kind of poison? Maybe a sneaky spider's trick trying to get no one to play the role of Jesus? He wondered aloud, remembering how humans told the story of a snake in a garden. He thought maybe a tricky evil spider with his venom was causing all the trouble in Bugville. Determined to find out, 
Crispin carefully scooped up some of the goop in an empty ink bottle and hurried off to see the ants who were known for their great smelling powers and knowledge of the meadow. Crispin arrived at the ant colony, a bustling city of tiny workers underground. The ant guards, always on the lookout, noticed Crispin and quickly led him through several tunnels to the Queen's Great Hall. The ant queen sat gracefully on a big mushroom, the cavern glowing softly in the light of the tiny fungal lamps. Crispin, feeling a little nervous in front of such an important bug, bowed his head. Your Majesty, there's trouble in Bugville. I think someone is trying to stop the good news of Easter by causing people to fight and not to forgive. The queen listened as Crispin showed her the inky blob and explained his worries. She sniffed it and her face turned serious. This is definitely the work of an evil spider. It encourages unforgiveness and brooding over one's past hurts. Crispin's eyes widened. Oh no, what can we do? The queen thought for a moment and said, when things get really tough, I go and ask Elias, the praying mantis, for help. He lives up in the great dogwood tree. He's very old and very wise, spending every night in prayer. Crispin thanked the queen and set off to find Elias. His journey took him past the human farmhouse, where he accidentally hopped on a shiny mirror lying on the grass. Whoa, he exclaimed as his reflection startled him, and he jumped away again, landing right on a human. It was a woman, and she shrieked and flung Crispin away, singing, crack it, crack it, and threw a mirror at him. Crispin hid in the bushes and watched the mirror break in shiny pieces on the ground as the woman ran away, calling for her husband. In the shadow reflection of the mirror, of the sky, he saw a dark figure dash above. It was a raven, and likely would eat Crispin. Afraid and trembling, Crispin crouched low and waited for nightfall. When the moon arose, Crispin hopped up the great dogwood tree. There, sitting quietly in the moonlight, was Elias, the praying mantis. Um, hello, Mr. Elias. Um, can you help me? There's so much arguing and fighting, and our Easter play is in trouble. Crispin said, almost out of breath. Elias listened with kind, knowing eyes. The resurrection of Jesus isn't just an Easter story to be believed. It's a way to live. How? Crispin asked. I'm worried the dark fighting and unforgiving will spread through all of Bugville. Then you must spread the light. Darkness can never put it out. But, um, Mr. Elias, how do I do that? The wise old praying mantis looked up at the moon and pointed with a long arm. See that moon? Its surface reflects the sun, whom we cannot see, but is still with us. Little cricket, there are two ways to spread the light. Be the light, or the mirror that reflects it. Crispin thought hard about this. Reflect the light? How do I do that? He wondered. Elias said, find the light that can brighten Bugsville and a way to share it. As Crispin made his way down the dogwood tree, he thought about the praying mantis's words, light and reflecting it, then he got an idea. The fireflies. They had never been to Bugsville's play before. They had their own tradition of Easter, making a pilgrimage of light across the woods to the human cemetery. If Crispin could get them before they left for their pilgrimage, maybe one of them could help him. Under the soft glow of the moon, Crispin found the fireflies about to depart. Still putting on his boots was a young firefly. Hello, I'm Crispin the Cricket from Bugsville. I know you guys live outside of Bugsville, but I was wondering if you could help me in all of Bugsville, please. Lumen, the young firefly, looked at his friends and then at Crispin. We're about to leave to keep Easter in our tradition. What do you need? We, we need a special kind of light for our Easter play. We have a play and the role of Jesus is always played by the caterpillar. There's so much brokenness around. Everyone is angry, it seems. Lumen, fluttering in curiosity, replied, but I've never been part of a play. We fireflies have this special tradition of celebrating Easter. We fly to the human graveyard to remind them of the resurrection and that the loved ones are still alive and that light overcomes sin and darkness. It's our most important duty. Crispin shared the story of the quarreling caterpillars and the power of Easter. After a moment thought, Lumen agreed. Okay, I'm just one firefly, but I'll do it, Crispin. No, you can't, Lumen's friend said, stepping closer. If you don't come with us, then you have to make the journey to the cemetery all alone, and the bats or the old crow might eat you. You could die with all of, without all of us there to protect you. Lumen looked at Crispin and then back at his friends. 
It's for Jesus, he said. He won't fail me. Crispin cheered and said, all right, follow me. Crispin led Lumen to his house and then returned to the ant colony to see if he could get even a small number of worker ants to help him. The little ants were busy with their day-to-day -day tasks scurrying all over uh, in orderly lines. Excuse me, Crispin called out, catching the attention of a few ants. I need your help for something really important. The small ant looked up, puzzled. But Crispin, we're just tiny ants. What can we do about big problems? You already spoke to our queen. Crispin knelt down, smiling. No one is too small in this mission. Trust me, let's get your queen's permission for this idea and then go and pay a visit to the farmhouse. The stage was set. The audience of bugs buzzed with excitement. The day the play had arrived. Lumen waited backstage, dressed in a funny caterpillar costume, feeling a bit nervous and awkward in the costume that really didn't fit him well. Crispin reassured him, just wait to the right moment and then shine as brightly as you can. The play was beautiful, with bugs acting out the story of Easter. A water bug played the part of St. Peter, who briefly walked on water, as our Lord did. A slender stick bug played the part of St. Mary Magdalene, L-I-M-B. Of course, a ladybug played the part of Mary. Then the big moment arrived. Lumen stepped onto the stage wearing the caterpillar costume. As the story reached the resurrection, he threw off the costume and burst into brilliant light. As Lumen revealed his true glowing self on stage, the ants revealed their secret. They had pieces of the shiny broken mirror. They reflected Lumen's light, making the whole meadow glow like a river of stars reaching every corner of Bugville. Even in their own camps, the red and blue caterpillars witnessed the breathtaking scene. Slowly they inched towards each other, their faces softening in the shared light. Families that had been fighting saw the light and came out of their different hovels and homes. A red caterpillar, its voice gentle, broke the silence. This light, it, it makes me feel like being friends again. A blue caterpillar, moving closer, replied, You're right, in the light of Easter, how can we keep fighting? and maintaining hurts. Then tentatively, they extended their feelers towards each other, offering each other a sign of peace. Around them, the other caterpillars followed suit, their red and blue caterpillars hugging and forgiving one another. Look up, an ant pointed. In the warm light, they saw shapes of their loved ones who had passed away hovering there, smiling down at them, happy to see Bugville united once again. The caterpillars, no longer divided, rejoined the community. Bugsville had found a new harmony, all thanks to a little cricket's idea, a brave firefly's light, and some ants who weren't too small to reflect the light of Easter. Crispin, looking at the happy faces and the warm glow around him, remembered the words of Elias. The resurrection isn't just a story to be believed. It's a way to live. Happy Easter. I believe in one God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let's raise our prayers to Almighty God. For the church in this season of joy, may the Holy Spirit empower us to share the good news with all. Let us pray to the Lord.
Lord, hear our prayer. For all who do not yet believe or understand, may the light of the risen Christ draw them to faith and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may we be drawn more deeply into personal relationship with Christ through his loving power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For all who have died in the hope of the resurrection, may they rest in eternal peace in God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For our vocations to the priesthood and religious life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For the end to coronavirus, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. For peace in the world, especially the Holy Land, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. And now for those petitions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear hear our prayer. We pray for our soldiers, uh, our men and women who keep us safe here and abroad. May God bless them on Easter. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all our deceased uh, loved ones in our online uh, community these past couple years. Anyone in our online community uh, who has passed away, may they experience the joy of the resurrection in heaven. And one day, may we all be reunited in the Father's house together. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, turn toward us and hear the prayers you inspire us to ask, for we ask them on this Easter day, through Christ our Lord. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours would be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud and praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, He himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church in recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Martha, St. Peter, St. Mary Magdalene, and with all the saints in whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with Francis, with your servant Francis our Pope and David our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind amends to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. As we 
redeemed us by his blood. Church, O oh God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mystery, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Hello, everybody. From all of us here at St. Martha's, we want to wish you a very happy Easter. Christ is risen, and we pray this Mass for all of you ahead of time. Um, and you see our flowers. What's wrong with our flowers? can't hear it probably. The flowers are not bloomed. They're not open, but we hope that you are open to the grace that God wants to send you at Easter, and you are on all of our prayers. Thank you very much for keeping your faith and keeping the day of the resurrection holy. Want to add anything, Diane? Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy they got Easter. nothing. They got <laughs> nothing. So, when you come to Mass as a Catholic, sometimes people, they go out to eat on the Lord's Day. Sometimes they go out to eat, and where does the Easter bunny celebrate Easter? He goes to Mass. Where does he go out to eat on Easter Sunday? You're going to tell us. I have. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get back to the regular mess. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten endow you with the prize of immortality. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn to a close, may you who celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exalting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.